So, um, if you've just joined us here on Team Forest TV, you missed all the games. We've had five maps of TF2 action, threw them in that last series between Lego and Team Colon slash TC. Just getting beat right at the end there. Viaduct maybe an unfortunate map for them. We're going to be joined by Ramagan. I think Josh is going to come as well from Lego. But uh, commiserations, Ramagan. I, it looked like you guys hadn't played much Viaduct in practice. No, not much. Our well, play to Lego, really good games. Big props to, to Helberg for hitting so much. Well played. It's it's really hard to, to deal with. Like we've seen these games a lot. Like they've been streamed often. Where like one sniper is just really on form, and some teams, like I think a lot of teams, struggle to deal with that. Maybe outside of the the top four, but uh, like the first round, you guys got absolutely crushed by it. You, then the second round you tried a few things it didn't necessarily work out. But the third round it seemed like you had uh, gotten a, a hold on the game, like you'd figure out how to deal with it. What was what was your strategy to try and get around Helberg? Hit to for him to hit less. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can really do when he hits every shot, every body shot's like cannot go forward or anything. So we'll play we'll play the Helberg. Right, I'm gonna have a question. Um are you gonna fold? No, we won't. It's a brand new team. Like we're really, really glad we got this far. It's like we got nothing to prove. We are, we are not prem players at the start, so just getting experience. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's good to hear, and uh, like it's great encouragement this season as well because you guys will obviously be contesting the top of the high division, and there's at least a going to be a prize pool there thanks to the ETFTL fundraiser. Just going to promote that one more time. Uh, Josh has joined us now as well. Maybe we need a, a translator in here. If you mean for yourself, yeah, sure. <laughs> Fucking free state bastard. Congratulations, <laughs> man. That was sick. A real turnaround by Lego. Uh, like Compared to earlier in the week, you guys seem to have made a lot of progress. What did you learn from the, the previous game against Team Colon Slash? Uh, that they're uh, very good on open mid like process. So, played uh, Snake Water instead, sort of fucked them over on it. Well, they were very strong in the mids, but we just made like one of the best comebacks I think we've, I've ever made. Well, the team has ever made. And was that uh, was that good for team morale? You know, you had that like, in the dying seconds, you managed to s steal it having won like four rounds in a row. Aye, you guys even, just going nuts. I we even had Hellbug screaming, and this guy's like the most mute bastard I've ever met. <laughs> Oh man, like uh, we've just been talking to Ramagan, he's single out Helberg as pretty much the sole reason that you guys won Viaduct. Uh, do you think on another map you would have won, Josh, or was it just the, the luck of the no, elimination I think, process? I think they were just jumping into him too much. What advice would you offer them then? Like, Ramagan seems to, his only solution was that Helberg should hit less shots. How do you deal with the sniper? Uh, well, we just did it by uh, last <laughs> season in Hello Kitty Ninjas. We just suicided me and Steve at the same time. Hell, hell, I couldn't deal with us both going at aggro at the same time, and then it, he fu we fucked him over for it. That's how we won the map. Fuck, kill Hellberg and then team sort of kill Hellberg. That's easy. Okay. Guy does 430 damage per minute. Finds himself. How many frags was it? Shit, did he? 29 frags, 10 assists, 10 deaths, 3.9 kill assist to death ratio. He was on fire, man. You guys got carried hard. That's all I'm saying. I didn't even have a clue. So uh, let's talk about season 20 then. You've made it into Prem, Josh, but you guys are probably the underdogs. Do you think you can beat C play? Uh, don't know. Profix was doubting us, but uh, after the game, he started messaging me saying, uh, Good job, man. Well done. We were doubting you, but uh, you pulled through. So maybe they're uh, looking at this game thinking uh, they have maps on it that they need to look out for if they have a PCW or so play us and the officials. I don't know. Maybe it's the same for other teams as well. I'm not entirely sure. Give us an idea of uh, how your team's performing in practice. Like, how are you doing against, say, Lethal Weapon? They're one of the sort of lower teams in the Prem. Sorry for saying. <laughs> Uh, they're fairly tough now because their soldiers are very, very good. Atomic and Shadowbone, very good at going aggro together. They make so much space for Forsaken, and Forsaken just runs around doing 10k damage. <laughs> what about uh, 
What about Eshock? Uh, I haven't played them yet, but uh, we played them a lot last season with uh, Hello Kitty Ninjas, and they weren't the best sort of team. Yeah, pretty much, cont- I think we won most of the PCWs against them. You still believe you can do it? Of course I do. Never doubted my team for a second. It's fucking shit Ram- for morale if you think you that. <laughs> Ramagan, then, uh, now that you're confirmed to be going down to the, the high division, what are your goals? Are you going for nothing short of the gold medal victory? No. Who do you see as the, the biggest threats down there? Like, What mm. teams do you expect to be facing off against? Sideshow's team? Yeah, Sideshow's like, yeah, side, side team. Uh, I don't know. We really didn't play much of the high tier teams except I think one team who is called Equinox. And we never played Sideshow's team. So yeah, I think we can win it. It's going to be interesting to see that, like the way the Swiss system works. Obviously, you're not going to play everyone in the division, so I guess it'll become apparent over the course of the season. But uh, I'm just trying to hype up season 20 a little bit here. I think it's going to be awesome, guys. I remind you once more about that fundraiser. You can check it out at igg.me forward slash at forward slash etf2l season 20. We'll spam it in the chat again. I'm just going to load it up myself right now, actually, and they're. Uh, Currently at 75% of the target, 2,249 euros have been raised. Uh, 38 days left. Must remind everyone as well, I need to make a post about this, but I said that for the highest donation, or the highest overall donations from one person, I'm putting up my darn Dignitas Darn shirt from I43. The very, the official Dignitas shirt as worn by Darn at I43, the last time he ever played for the team. I have it in my possession and I'm giving it up as a prize for whoever donates the most and I think uh, I was in the lead for my own prize and now Campo has stepped up with a donation of 150 euros or something so that's the total to beat right now I might have to you know open up my wallet again but uh, if you want that darn shirt a piece of TF2 history you need to splash the cash and of course you're supporting a good cause here it's going to be probably the most competitive season of ETF2L in history have I said enough, Delash? I think you've definitely done your thing for tonight. You definitely uh, talked a bit more than me, but it was a good thing to to have you casting with me for my first time. That was nice, at least. That's what I do. I just don't shut the fuck up, man. That's excellent. But you fought me for the mic. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I'm impressed by your casting debut, Delash. I hope the people in Twitch chat can show you some love. Uh, we're still looking for feedback on that team health bar as well, so give us uh, drop us a message on the Team Forest TV event page. Tell us what you thought of our uh, new stream additions. Yeah, that's all I got to say for tonight. I'll give you guys a chance to give your shout outs. Who do you want to send some love to, Josh? Uh, probably Lego for picking me up as a nice replacement to Hello Kitty Ninjas. Uh, Seeing as Sil sort of went AIDS and started to make a new team. Have fun playing against them, Ramagan. What happened to the HKN? Why did they fall apart? Uh, Pablo has gone to create the uh, super super team. Of the Polish super the team, po- yeah. The Polak squad. And Rusty has uni issues, like he's doing some match shape. So he doesn't have all the time he'd like to commit to the game anymore. Uh, Aston IMB, I'm not sure what happened to... Like, Originally it was going to be Asta's like... Asta's in team, I think. Oh, is he? Very good. Asta's playing with uh, Nuki in Saito's team. Let's go. Oh, I remember we, we PCW'd them before. The fucking Asta and Starsky pretty, very strong together. But uh, it, w- it was originally going to be like me, IMB, Asta, and if Sil was talking, going to like play, we were going to recreate the team, get a new demo and medic. But since it was like too close to the season and the demo medic's very hard to replace, we just decided better to go our own separate ways. I, I was sad to see you uh, fold, but Sonny Black was more than happy. He was terrified of the thought of HKN and Prem. But you've managed to get your way back in there anyway, Josh. Uh, Ramagan, your final thoughts and your shout-outs? Well, uh, first of all, well played to C-Play. Uh, was great maps against them. 
Really, they played well. They they played good. Sh Shoutouts to Feeling Blue for outplaying me in every Uber trade. It was really strong. Well played. Uh, Shoutouts to Lego for giving us three incredible maps, even though we lost. Shoutout to Hellbug for raping us on that viaduct. Shoutout to my team for playing this whole night. It was really tough physically and emotionally. Shoutouts to all the TC community and to all the people that support us. The last. Shout out to Bull. I'm and gonna give. Uh... Oh, sorry, the last. I have one more. Shout out to Cadus. I guess he didn't believe he, in me. He did, you had to think about that. You're like, <sighs> I'm not sure. He didn't believe in me, you know. But what a nerd! Hopefully, I proved him wrong. Yeah, shout out to the last for his uh, cast and debut. He definitely. Uh, stepped up. More than a pleasure. We'll have you on again anytime, buddy. Uh, shout out to Ramagan as well. What a gracious loser. Very gracious in defeat, I mean. And Josh for actually, you know, being pretty out. Uh, I was able to understand what you were saying for perhaps the first time. I'm um, impressed. Uh, You've been working on your allocation. <laughs> My allocation? Yeah, yeah, I've been taking them lessons like you recommended me to get. <laughs> So what can I do for me? Say hi to Sim as well. Excellent job on the camera. Despite those weird TF2 issues we were having in STV earlier. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Shout out to the fans, of course, to everyone who tuned in. We've seen an upset. Not only did Kratos get in the Prem, but so did Lego. It's just a day for surprises. I've seen it all. Season 20 can't get any better than this. That's going to be it for tonight, though. Uh, keep an eye on TV. The schedule will keep you informed of what's coming up. There's going to be Archimedes Cup action on Sunday. It's going to be the quarterfinals up to the semis. And uh, that 1,000 euros is still at stake. So tune in and support that, you know, get new players into the game. I don't want to ramble on anymore. That's it for tonight. Cut the damn thing.